Welcome to the Phantasm Mechanics Flying Crank Ghost Motor Platform Instruction Video. This will show you everything you need to know to construct the mechanism that will animate your ghost marionette. If you have basic tools such as a screwdriver, wrenches, a vice grip plier, a hacksaw or jigsaw, an electric drill, and a vise, you can build this project. Watch the video before shopping for parts, and again if necessary as you build. Our website has a PDF format set of illustrations you will also want for reference. The link for this is just below the video window. Please be aware that cutting metal with any tool produces flying debris. Wear eye protection whenever you do this. If you are not comfortable with power tools like jigsaws and drills, ask for assistance from someone with experience. This image shows pictures of all the hardware you will need, except for the motor and the aluminum stock listed at the bottom. It does not include the three-wire electrical cords you will need to power the motor. This needs to be 14 gauge wire or larger. The motor does not draw much current. The aluminum 1 8 inch L channel stock shown is available at hardware stores or outlets like Lowe's or Home Depot. The 1 8 inch flat should also be easy to find. This is the Dayton gear motor you will need and it is available at the URL shown here or at Granger Industrial Supply. Do not substitute a rotisserie motor for this part as it will likely fail under continuous duty. This is the finished crank you will attach to the motor shaft against the flat face. It is the key to the action of the device. Before mounting, measure the spacing of the mounting holes on the motor and transfer that to the stock as shown in the next segment. To make this simpler, you can use the technique shown here and make a template to mark the drilling locations. Cut four lengths of L-channel aluminum as shown here. Aluminum tends to load up the teeth of a hacksaw, but you should still have little trouble. The easier way to cut it is with a soft metals blade in a jigsaw. Remember that cutting aluminum produces a lot of debris, so do this in a place that is easy to clean up. The first step is to drill the mounting holes for the motor in the left side 20 inch rail. The front of the motor's gearbox should be 3 inches back from the front of the rail. The gearbox should just barely be touching the side of the rail, but if you wish you can allow a slight gap. Select a drill bit slightly larger than the diameter of the 1032 machine screws so that small errors will not cause a problem. If you are an experienced shop hand, use your preferred method and be as precise as you like. Repeat this operation with the right rail. You can use this method to transfer the drilling locations once you have tested the fit of the motor. When done, mount the motor to both rails. This will provide a base for drilling the rest of the holes in the assembled piece. Drill the 16 inch front bar as shown. There will be arms attached to this that will lead the ropes down to the hands of the marionette. The rear bar attaches in a similar manner and has a center hole for the long eye bolt that doubles as a mount for the head pulley down below and the hanging point above. Mount the front bar using hardware as shown. Note the two nuts that serve to stop the bolts to keep the fasteners from putting too much tension on the front bar. Here is the finished main unit frame. You will add the adjustable front arms in an upcoming step. The U-bolt needs to be placed starting about a half inch back from the end of the crank bar. This is the most critical drilling step, so be careful marking the centers for the holes. You may wish to use a drill bit one step larger than the U-bolt's quarter inch diameter for ease of attachment. Lock the crank stock in a vise as shown and use pieces of scrap wood to protect it as you bend it. This does not require a lot of force if you allow enough space for the bend. Drill the first pivot mount one half inch back from the crank's end. Then add five or six more holes spaced one inch apart. Mark a flat washer into three divisions as shown. 
These lines do not have to be precisely accurate, just approximate in position. Drill close to the edge of the washer and well away from the center holes so the holes will not be partially covered by the washers on the pivot bolt. Be sure to dress the holes with a file so the edges are not sharp enough to damage the nylon rope. Assemble the pivot, making sure the washer is free to spin and yet not wobble. Lubricate the washer area with light machine oil such as 3-in-1 to reduce friction. Drill two hanging washers with a single extra hole in a position well away from the center hole. Remember to dress each hole for smoothness. The left and right arms are drilled with pivot attachment holes 3 inches from the inner end. The holes for the short eye bolts that will hold the pulleys are 1 half inch from the opposite end. Mount the arms to the frame. There are lock washers placed both above and below the mounting hole that will lock the arm in position when the bottom nuts are tightened. Attach pulleys with your choice of thin nylon rope or wire tie wraps. You need to keep this loose enough to allow the pulley to rotate horizontally as well as swing slightly as the ghost marionette changes position. Attach 1 8 inch nylon rope in approximate lengths as is done here. It is best to tie double knots at the pivot washer unless you use another method you find more secure. This step completes the construction of the motor platform except for the attachment of the power cord. Make sure to attach the ground wire, which is usually green, somewhere on the frame. One of the motor mount bolts will work for this, but make sure the connection does not interfere with the travel of the crank. The motor is double insulated as the coil on the field assembly is made of insulating plastic. There is almost no possibility of shock as long as you securely connect the wires of the motor to the cord. You can use twist insulators, but if you do, make sure to tape the assembly so that it is secure. Also, it is a good idea to strap the cord to the frame with wire ties and lead it to exit at the rear of the mechanism. Once again, do not block the crank race. The motor platform hangs from the drilled washer at the rear center and from the two eye bolts at the arm pivots. To assemble the complete effect for testing, you will need to find a place to hang the mechanism about six feet above the floor. This concludes the motor platform instructions. View part two to learn how to build the ghost marionette.